hey, I'm Chris. Some of you know me at just first light, but I, I just wanted to do this video just because I haven't said everything that I wanted to say. Well, I never said anything at all. I always carry everything like a bag, like a traveler. I always collect and, and then somehow use it to my advantage in any way. And I always thought that was able to give me the mo best motivation until, well, I guess until a lot of different kinds of shows and a lot of different kinds of things made me more spirited and towards my actions. But this time, well, I think this time it was because of Luffy or anything like that, One Piece. But when he shouted out his dreams and stuff like that, and I, I don't really care about shouting out my dreams. I don't care about shouting out my full attentions because, honestly, I could cra give a crap about what other people say about me. But but I always care about others, what, how they feel and stuff like that. I usually get the best of me. But this is, isn't about me talking about what they get the best of or whatever. But this is me shouting out my full attentions. Ever since I was a kid, oh, I'm not going to go all the way. i always been um, helpful to people, no matter what situation I'm in. No matter uh, how difficult my challenges are, I always try to try to find a way to help people, no matter what position I am. I know that I before I had to help people, the only way I can help people is to help myself. And, and I learned so many other things throughout that, too through my mental health, through my physical health uh, as well. Like, hell, I used to be uh, very chubby. I, I wasn't, like, very chubby, like 300 pounds or anything like that. I was about 205 or something like that. I was, I was a bit overweight, but now I'm all down to 161 and everything. And it's great. I feel great. I feel healthy and I'm eating healthy and doing all this stuff. But, but let's go back. I always try to help people, and no matter what, what's happening to me, no matter how many things I think of, I never really wanted this in some way. That's the words that I came off of for me in the past, that I always thought I was condemned to certain things that I had no control of, that the best situation is to make me better, to make me look better, and to make me feel better. Because cause that, that kind of adapts to everything in my work and everything. It's kind of like procrastinating. I procrastinate myself. And I procrastinate, procrastinate everything else. Hardly able to do anything else. And I always knew that I, I had better potential. That I can do everything I wanted to. I know that, that I would have been top 10. Or uh, <laughs> uh, whatever they call top 10 people who are the smartest or who are successful and stuff like that because I know that but I, I really wanted to go a different route in my life I never really wanted to have fame or fortune or be the best looks or be anything I just try to be the best person I can I can be slowly you know I don't care if anybody thinks I'm weak that I'm weak minded or or anything like that. I don't care if people discriminate me in any way. I I give myself foundation. I give myself strength. And those people that I call friends and so, well, they, they help me a lot too because I choose them too. I choose them as my friends and they they come with me like, like we cross paths and so and it's nice because I'm a, I'm a huge adventure guy. I, my, one of my first games is Zelda, so it kind of picked me up pretty well. A lot of things in my life that entangled me picked me up pretty well. And I use that to my best advantage. I never I never take advantage of anything. I never take advantage of anybody, anyone. And <laughs> I, I, I always want to be this loyal guy, this nice, sweet guy. And <laughs> sometimes I just want to be silly, too. And that's why I have friends to be silly with and people that are. And some people some people are just a bit too silly, but I, I don't mind. And, and some people, they take the show, and I don't care if they take the spotlight or anything like that. And as long as they're being happy, I'm happy. And But it doesn't, it kind of, 
just counters my spirit because I'm trying to figure out what's the right time to say this, what's the right time to say that, and I, but I don't, but now I'm just starting to give a crap about what timing is. I'm just going to go for it, like right here, I'm going to go for it, as everything else there is that from yesterday I did so many things that I'm just, I just went for it because I need to do it and I need to do that and I have so many responsibilities to do for myself and for my family. And for me, family is top priority. But my biggest goal that I wanted to achieve is that I wanted to be able to help multiple people, multiple different sides, young and old. I want to be that person for everyone. And, and especially the person that I, who I'll love someday and cherish, um, that I'll be everything for them. <laughs> I try to be the best guy for anybody and something like that. And, yeah, and sweet. And so, but sometimes I, I really mix in with silliness and stuff like that because I do have a lot of family that are just pretty silly and pretty stubborn. That's how I got my stubbornness from. <laughs> but, but encountering with all the people and everything, helping people, I want to own my own business. I want to own my own company. I want to build something. And I'm not too sure what yet. I either it's YouTube, which I hopefully it's not, because I really don't want to be on the screen every day of my life, trying to editing, trying to express myself. That's not me. That's not me at all. Sure, I do love doing this. I do love um, portraying myself, doing games and stuff. But that's only a part of me. As I want to live every part of me. In every way that's why I want to own the company where I can do everything I can possibly do I can have games I can have books whatever anything like I'm in the library with conventions and everything like that I can have everything like that that I wanted and it makes people happy and show them wonders like studio giveaway or your first game or the first thing that inspires you I want to create that feeling too I always let my dreams, I always copy my dreams and stuff like that. I always let my dreams go out of love. I do poems a lot. Now, hopefully, uh, my next video I can do, I can start reading off poems that I made before. And I'll, I'll explain it fully. I won't let let it just be uh, just the poem itself. I'll, I'll let my narrator self, whatever, get get through so that you guys can understand. But perfection takes practice. That's what I think. I won't, well, I won't let it just be one thing and say that, oh, this is perfect. Let's do this. No, I'm not like that. I like to see every point. And then afterwards, if I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied. That's the type of guy I am. This is a nice start. I'll update you more later, later on what I'm doing, but this is a nice start to, to go with. Well, I hope you guys enjoy your day and have a very good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!